Hey, Paul, how are you? Thanks for asking for this cameo. Uh, congratulations on your activism uh, on behalf of your, of your LGBTQ Employees Association. Um, I'm thrilled to have been representing our community on Star Trek Picard as well. Uh, it was a really great journey and a great opportunity to meet fans like you and to uh, talk to so many now LGBTQ fans are out of the closet. Um, I was just on a cruise where there was a, a really active group of uh, LGBTQ fans and allies uh, and we did lots of activities together. So that was really, really fun. Um, this is a really interesting time to be alive for sure. And it's definitely a challenging time for uh, LGBTQ Americans. And um, as we are also consumed by the virus and uh, taking care of the things that are really important, we have to be very vigilant that our rights, you know, don't get trampled on. I mean, one of the things that I keep going back to is this antiquated idea that um, gay people can't give blood uh, to help others during the pandemic. And that's a, a very old law that uh, passed during the height of the AIDS epidemic. So there are a lot of ways we're being discriminated against. And our, actually, our community um, is very hard hit. A lot of people in our community, and this is something I didn't even know until I interviewed Alfonso David, the head of HRC for my podcast, Hollywood Caucus, is that um, a large majority of the LGBT community live in poverty and don't have health insurance. So anything we can to help each other uh, because we are in this together is a great thing. Thanks for the work you do. I'm very proud to represent us uh, in the Star Trek canon. And um, I hope to see you again. I'm glad we got to meet uh, at Las Vegas. All right, stay safe, my friend. Stay well. And I hope to see you at a convention soon. All right, bye.